then we have the Regera. I was just out in this car and it was mind blowing. What is going on everybody and welcome back to another video. Now today I'm here in my hometown in Mission Viejo, Orange County, and we have a couple special cars behind me. So we have on the right or left, whatever way you're looking, this is the Ferrari 458 Speciale. So the hardcore tracked out lightweight version of the 458. And right next to it, we have the 430 Scuderia, which is basically the same thing, same idea, the tracked out lightweight car of the 430. So we have both generations of naturally aspirated Ferrari track cars. Both of these have aftermarket exhaust. This one is pretty loud and just wait guys, if you think the Speciale is loud, the 458 Scuderia just got a full custom exhaust and it is ear shatteringly loud. So our plan for this morning is to get some photos, which is where we are right now. We're at this nice photo location that I'm sure you guys have probably recognized by some other videos by now. And there's a really cool uh, canyon that's local down there. So we're gonna be doing some sound comparisons, driving with these two cars, and just basically going for a canyon rip in Ferrari's best. So the Speciale has a few aftermarket parts done. First things first, we have the brand new HRE wheels with the OEM center cap. And I like the way that he did the Ferrari center cap, uh, but still on HREs. I think it looks very clean, very OEM. Car has been lowered on uh, Novatec springs. And of course we have the full custom exhaust that is very, very loud. But the Scud guys, the Scud's exhaust is just, oh, I can't wait. So the main difference, whoa, 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 easy there, door. The main difference is, as you can see, very lightweight, including the doors. So they're single piece carbon fiber. Even the door latch itself is full carbon, the handle. So there's so much raw carbon fiber. My buddy here actually got the floor mats, which normally especially doesn't come. It just comes on that metal surface that you can see there, but kind of a nice daily livable option to get some WeatherTech mats in there. The cabin is pretty identical looking to the Speciale. Of course, this is the newer one, so it's gonna have, you know, some newer updates to it. But the rawness of just like bare metal, all the welds, like it's pretty cool, guys. And the lightweight seats with this cool cloth texture, that's like a characteristic of these cars too. And of course, Scud has the headphones in for his passengers. I don't know who would, I wouldn't use these because, you know, that's the point is to hear the car, but I get it, you know, sometimes headphones are necessary. So on top of shooting these two amazing Ferraris here in the morning, later on today, guys, and the rest of the video, I'm going to the Orange County Festival of Speed, which is pretty much like Orange County's best car show, and I think just California's best car show in a long time, because there's Zonda Cinque's, Koenigseggs, and they're actually being driven on the track for all the spectators to see, so that's going to be very cool. That's gonna come later in the video, guys, just after when we're done making enough noise with these two. So let's go on a little drive and show you guys what these things are about actually moving and getting some sound clips. I really want to hear the difference of these two flying by because they're both naturally aspirated V8s, both have an aftermarket very high pitch exhaust system, but the Scuderia is just that extra level of straight pipe goodness. So anyway guys, let's hop in and go for a drive. Oh, my God. 
it's officially time to move spots because we're getting kicked out from the mean security lady because this is in a parking spot. So anyway, much better things to do at 8 a.m. on a Sunday than yell at two dudes in a Ferrari. <laughs> Okay, and just like that, we are here at the OC Festival of Speed. So I was here yesterday, it was really rainy, but we have some nice weather today. And look, there's even snow right over there in the mountains, so that's cool. We're getting ready for the hypercar driving experience, so all the hypercars are going to go out on the track. Like, I'm pretty sure we're about to see a Zonda fly by, so let's go up on top of the stairs. We'll do some track action first, and then we'll go down to the rest of the show, and I'll show you guys. Check it out guys, we have the Bugatti Chiron all blue carbon fiber with a red interior. Kind of cool, it's like a Superman spec. So this was just coming off the track now. I love the wheels on the Chiron, they just look super techy. Very nice looking car. One of my favorite parts of the Chiron are the headlights, how they're all squared and kind of like floating there. When you start the car they turn on in an order too, that's some cool detail. The Chiron's definitely the most daily drivable hypercar out of everything here, and least track oriented, but still fast, still fun. The Koenigsegg Regera that Dan has, the red one over there that I just went out in, is the only one in the entire US. So it's the first customer Regera, and of course it's a hybrid Koenigsegg, which is really weird. And unfortunately I wasn't able to film that on track because they don't allow for handheld cameras. But anyway guys, we have the rest of everything over here. We've got the McLaren Senna, McLaren P1, and then the new 720S Spider. I think it's pretty cool how we have the Senna and the P1 in a pretty similar color right next to each other. You could definitely see the progression from the P1 to the Senna, but I gotta say guys, the P1 is so much better looking still. It just flows, it's the perfect road car. So out of all the cars here, like all the Koenigseggs, the Zondas, everything, I think the, the Regera is probably the most special considering it's the only one on the continent, guys. That's very important. And it's also a hybrid, so it's like the next generation of hypercars. Really special experience. The Senna is, of course, probably the second coolest car, in my opinion, here because they're just really unique. Like, the Senna, originally, I didn't have the best opinion of this car. I thought it was kind of ugly. But after seeing different specs, and especially this specification, and realizing, like, how dedicated to going fast this car is, I kind of have a new respect for this thing. Just look at this. It's crazy. Oh, and there's the P1 race mode startup. Very important guys, make sure to snack up. We got Koenigseggs, we got Zondas, but more importantly, we have white cheddar popcorn. Okay guys, this is, uh, this is what we're here for. We have the Koenigsegg CCXR Trevita, one of two down there, white carbon. And of course we have the best car in the world, arguably, the Pagani Zonda Cinque. This one's the coupe, so we've got the extended roof scoop on top. And it's one of only three that isn't white. So there's a fun fact. And we got the Zonda Tricolore right next to it, one of three, and the first colored carbon fiber Pagani car that they ever did. 
Then we have the Regera. I was just out in this car and it was mind blowing. Unfortunately, couldn't film it because they don't allow handheld cameras on track. But guys, let me just let me just tell you. I just cannot explain to you how wild the Regera is. It literally, it feels like a Tesla, but it's way louder and like four times as fast. So there's no gear shift, so it doesn't like hit red line and then you shift and you feel it. It's just consistent all the way through. And that's kind of the weird part of this. So you got the Senna, the future track car, and the better looking road car, the P1. And the Lambo truck, gotta love.